Hello everyone, this is Chase again, and I am finally back with another YouTube training tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the book transfer software that allows you to send books, music files, and more to the Bookport Plus. I've previously showed you how to install the software, but today we're going to show you how it works. I'm not going to show every part of the software, but I will give you a basic overview of the functions and we can look at m more specific things in a future video. It's worth mentioning before we start that there is a version of Book Transfer for the Mac, so if you're using a Bookport Plus you can send files to it if you have a Mac, but today we're just going to be using Windows and the Book Transfer software for Windows. So I'm using JAWS, which is where my speech is going to be coming from, but the commands we'll be using you can use with any screen reader. I'm on my desktop right now, focused on the Book Transfer icon, so pressing Enter will simply open Book Transfer. Enter. I've pressed Book Enter, and Book Transfer is now open. And you hear that we are in the Source folder which by default it's looking in my my documents folder in Windows and this is showing a list of all the folders that we could send over to the Bookport Plus or all the folders that contain files so right now you hear the Hunger Games which is a daisy book that can be sent over or if we go down the list with our down arrow we have my Dropbox there's some other ninth grade which is a folder where I just keep miscellaneous files related to school so, I have various folders here that contain files, which we could send to the Bookport Plus. Let's explore the next control in Book Transfer by pressing Tab, tab which is our destination folder. This currently says Bookport Plus not connected, because my Bookport Plus isn't connected at the moment. If the Bookport Plus was connected, we could select a folder in this combo box, and that would tell Book Transfer where we wanted the files to be sent. If you're uncomfortable sending files to specific folders, you don't have to mess with this control, you can just skip it, because when you send any type of file, Book Transfer automatically knows what it needs to do with that file. So unless you want to select specific folders on your Bookport Plus where you want to send files, it is recommended to skip this control and let Book Transfer send things automatically. Tab, send I press Tab, and we get to the Send button. This would let us automatically send a file. So if we found a file that we want to send to the Bookport Plus, or if we found a book that we wanted to send, we could press the Send button, and the file would get sent over. You wouldn't have to tab all the way to the Send button if we were in the Source folder, that list of files and folders we were looking at at the beginning of the demo, and you found a file or folder that you wanted to send, you would just press Enter, and that book would be sent over to the Bookport Plus. If I press Tab again, we have our Send Folder button, so if you have several books or several files in a folder on your computer, those will all get sent to the Bookport Plus at one time if you focus on a folder and then tab to the Send Folder button. This is nice if you have a whole folder full of books that you want to read, you could have that whole folder of books sent to the Bookport Plus. I'll press Tab one more time. Tab, content type, combo box, daily books, one of ten. Now it's asking for our content type. This is asking what type of thing we want to send to our Bookport Plus. The default is daisy books. Now daisy books are things that you can navigate by chapter, by section, etc. in a book. This is the kind of book you would download from Bookshare, NLS Bard, Learning Ally, etc. When we opened the book transfer program, you heard the Hunger Games daisy book. It was automatically looking for daisy books in our My Documents folder, which is our source folder, so we were automatically presented with a daisy book. If you don't want to send a daisy book, you want to send something else, you would select a different content type. And then the book transfer software would show you the files of that type and send those to the proper place on the Bookport Plus. So let's look at what other content types we have. Text files. We have text files. Podcasts. Podcasts. You can set up podcasts on the Bookport Plus and have it automatically download them over Wi-Fi, and we will learn how to do that in a future video. Audiobooks. Audiobooks, these would be books in an MP3 format that, for example, you might have ripped off of a CD. Audible.com books. Audible books, which you can get obviously from audible.com. Music. We have music, which will let you just play music in a random order. Podcast feed manager. Podcast feed manager, which we will again look at in a future video when we look at podcasts on the Bookport Plus. 
radio stations. We can send files containing feeds for radio stations so that we can listen to web radio from the Bookport Plus. Device recordings. If you have recorded on your Bookport Plus, device recordings will let you see those recordings on the Bookport Plus and move those to your computer. All non-audio files. And you have all non-audio files, so that'll show you Word files, HTML files, any file that doesn't fit into an audio category that you can send over to the Bookport Plus and read. Pressing down arrow again doesn't do anything, so that means that that is the last option. So before you go look for a file to send, you'll want to go to this list, select the type of media which you would like to send, go find it in your source folder, and press enter to send. And I've stopped the speech by pressing my control key, but this is where you can type in the path, if you don't know it, of where you would like to get your files from, which, as I said, is set to My Documents. If I tab, tab source folder, extended, select list box, the number games, the, my drop and I go to the bottom, we are looking at all my different folders. And if we would go into those, we would be able to send any non-audio file to the Bookport Plus, because that is the last thing we selected in the source folder list. Once we found the file we want to send, or the folder we would like to send, we would press Enter, or tap over to the send button. Now the last thing I want to show you is the menus. If I press my alt key, menu bar, file, we have our file menu. Let's go into that. Enter, menu, file menu, view we could view something in a folder. Delete, D. delete. I'm moving through these options by pressing down arrow. Delete will allow us to delete the current file either on the Bookport Plus or the computer. New folder, N. New folder on either the computer or the Bookport Plus. New podcast feed. On the New podcast feed. So these are all options for managing your files. So let's go ahead and close this. We have view which, can train, which controls how the window looks, how the book transfer program looks. Network, we have network. The Bookport Plus supports sending files wirelessly, and this allows you to set that up. The networking is going to be a whole separate tutorial, so we will look at that in the future. Options, oh. We have our options. Let's go into that with enter. enter menu, options, menu, use, book titles and listings, check, use book titles and listings. This means that my Hunger Games book that we found in my documents folder said the Hunger Games, the Hunger Games trilogy book one, instead of saying the exact file name of the book. This makes it less, less confusing because you always know what you're trying to send. If your device is activated for books from the National Library Service, this will allow you to get that key off of it. This is something you really won't need to do unless you're having issues. Those are all of our options. So I pressed escape to get back to the menu bar. If I press right arrow, we have our help menu. So let's go in here with enter. We have our user manual, which will open in a web page. Update, we can dot, dot, update the software, this book transfer program, if it gets new features or bug fixes, we would press this option and we would get the latest software update. Firmware update dot, 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 unavailable, F. You hear firmware update unavailable. This allows you to download and install the latest update for your Bookport Plus. If there's one available, this will allow you to do new and different things on your Bookport Plus and updates do come out fairly often, so you'll want to check this option. It is currently unavailable because I do not have my Bookport Plus connected. About book transfer, dot, dot, dot. And about book transfer, you don't really need to go into. That tells you some copyright information and the current version of the software that you are using. Manual, We're back to dot, user dot, manual, dot, so let's press escape. Menu bar, help. help is the last menu item, so let's press escape yeah, again. Menus, and we're back in book transfer. Now that we've looked at all of the items in the book transfer main window and some of the menu items, that will conclude this book transfer tutorial for today. I know we didn't look at every option and every menu choice, but we will go back through specific options when we look at sending files, including books, recordings, and podcasts to and from the Bookport Plus. But hopefully this gave you a basic idea of how book transfer for Windows operates. If you would like more details about the software before we come out with our next YouTube video, which will hopefully be very soon, you can Read the book transfer user manual, which was written very well by APH, and that is in the help menu like we just looked at. You can also visit my website at blindmobiletech.com, and there you will be able to see some podcasts that I have produced that will be complete audio tutorials of the Bookport Plus and book transfer. We will be back soon with another YouTube video about 
other APH products and other technology items. Thank you for joining us today, and if you have any comments or questions about any of these YouTube videos, please do send an email to youtube at blindmobiletech.com.